The new sounds of gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station.
This station rocks the nation. All right, y'all. Welcome, world, to the all-new Donna B. Gospel Radio Show. I am your host, radio host right now. We are live on the hottest show. It's after 8 o'clock. Good evening, man. How you doing? On another Thursday night. Ooh, Wait a minute, did I say Thursday? Did, did I say another Thursday night like it was said, like last yeah. night was Thursday too? Yeah, cause last night was it was it was a it was a wins Thursday. It was a Thursday wins. <laughs> hey, so, guess guess you know, what I'm, I'm cool. Co host, guess what I'm eating? Ooh, please don't tell me because I'm you, you already what? see it, but it's a tater tops. That's what that I said. Is that you kept you, you kept smelling it? Remember, you said, mm-hmm. "Man, what's that smell? Like, like, smell good." I didn't want you to be, you know, tempting me though. Huh? <laughs> and guess what, y'all? I'm eating in front of him. I didn't even offer him none. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. How you gonna How you gonna eat some food in front of me? Hey, let me. Yeah. Oh no! No, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh no, you I'm can't do that. Uh-uh, you can't do that. You can't do what I do. You can't do it. Uh, no, let me get the. You good? Uh, Cause we, I, I'm, I'm, I gotta have something. I mean, but you know, I ain't gonna be uh on the on the air smacking or nothing like. I don't care. I am. What's that I'm on the air right now. I'm smacking. Do you think I care? <laughs> I don't care. They can't see oh, me. Man. Only one can see me is you, but they can't see me. But you know, it's been a crazy hot day. You know, I don't know. I don't want to talk about of... that. We got a uh, shout out to everybody that tuned in to us. I've got so many feedbacks of people loving the show. Um, we got a new show that's coming to our station. We've been playing bits and pieces on Channel 49 TV. Shout out to Citizen Media. Citizen Media, they are listening to us right now. And he shout told out. me, he said, I love your show. I love your radio show. So shout out to Citizen Media. What you think about that, man? Citizen Media, tune in to us. Got us online. Oh, yeah. Thank and you. And some, yeah. some of the other TV shows like J.D. King. He got yeah, a TV show on every deal. night at 7. He just yeah, went out early definitely. tonight. He just went out. He came. He went out at 7 o'clock. He came on at 7 and went out at 7.30. Well, you know, since we are not so streamlined, we wanna uh, we, we wanna make, make sure we keep everything uh, uh, fresh. That's and, right. Uh, on, on, on occasions, uh, something that maybe no one's heard of before. Oh yeah, and we got a tonight. We're gonna be talking about a lot of hot topping news tonight. So don't y'all go nowhere. Stay tuned to the hottest station in the nation. We oh man, did you get that uh, information I send you about? The, the, what we rank as number nine in the top 40 radio station. Ooh, we we're going to have to deal with that. That's huge. That's big. That number big, nine. Big. We almost close to being the number one rank in radio. We're number I'm nine. We just I'm got eight more to go and we'll be number one. I'm going to wait and talk about my excitement once we get in a, once we get in a big, good mix up. I'm oh man, I, I, I'm excited. We're gonna share our testimony. Yes, Cause, cause, yes. Because I, I don't want to let the cat out the bag yet. Yeah. Even though what you I'm, got? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you mean? You, you don't want to let the cat out the bag? What you got going I'm on? Let, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about. It. I was just so excited when I heard. I know you. You there. said you. You told me you had some yeah. news for me. I still, I still didn't pick out what you got for me. Oh, uh, I, it, I told you about it. But no, you did. Yes, I did. Now you gonna check? It, but look, y'all did, check this out, y'all. I'm gonna find out. I'm I'm about to find out right now what you guys about to find out at the same time. Okay, Sp- spill it I on never, me. I never did get her information, so I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to get that information, and then I really wasn't prepared because I really didn't even have my cards or anything like that. I'm talking about the TDECU. Uh, credit union. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna to, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to yeah, get back have to up with her that. again. And I'm so sorry she's listening again tonight. Um, did she tune in last I night? Didn't get, uh, yeah, she did. She she said she did. So uh, uh, she was. So you know, I got to go back up there and make sure though. Uh, okay. And then okay. I got to get a URL and all that other information because I I really was just a spare of the moment thing going up to the credit union. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No doubt. Quick deposit. 
Shout out to Citizen Amelia listening to us right now on WKNY Radio. And we're going to, I'll tell you what we're going to do, man. We're going to go to another song. Well, a couple more songs and we'll be back. Y'all tune in to the hottest station from 8 to 10. Donnie B. John Williams. We in the building. We'll be right back. Tasha Carr. Break every chain. Y'all check it out. We'll be right back. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain Woo! to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Come on, you declare it. There is power. There is power, there is power in the name, in the name of Jesus. We know where it is to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an arm. There's an army rising up. <laughs> There's an army rising up, yeah. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain. Sounds of gospel music, gospel music, gospel music, gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station. Where is the love? 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 Where's the love? Where's the love? 
Gospel music, gospel music, gospel music, gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station.
right now. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I gotta be intimate Jesus. with you. I wanna be Jesus. close to you in your presence, Jesus. Lord. Jesus. Sometimes I cry Jesus. at night. Jesus. When my pillow gets soaked oh, in tears. Oh, Jesus. Oh, when I get on my knees. Right here on WKNY Radio. That song is called Console My Soul. Console My Soul. Ooh, that's a beautiful song. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Man, Ooh, I don't know about you, man, yeah. but I'm I'm just yeah. touched. Shout out to everybody out there yeah. tuning in to us. And let me let y'all know the weather report for the Dallas Fort Worth area tonight. We're gonna have a low of 77 tonight. And uh tomorrow, man, uh, I got to tell you this, uh, it's gonna get all the way up to 97. Six. And Ooh. by the weekend, you don't even want to know what the weekend gonna be like, man. Are you ready? Ooh. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. We got three digit temperatures coming. We got. It's gonna be a hundred degrees on Saturday. Oh, it gets worse. It's gonna be a hundred and two on Sunday, Ooh, and a hundred and two Monday. Day and a hundred and two on Tuesday. Now we ain't talking Ooh. about worldwide, y'all. We talking about Dallas Fort Worth area. Yeah. What you think about speak, that, man? Yeah. Speaking of Sunday, I got a uh, what you got? I got a uh, what you got? interview going on. Oh, uh, who you got to interview with? Who you got to interview with? Up in Garland. Um. So who is who is Miss Brandy out of uh out of Raw City? Oh, so we, for your new TV interview. show. Yeah. So yeah. we gonna yeah. So it's gonna be pretty. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hot, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So, and yeah. also, oh, uh, shout out to Donovan. Uh, Donovan is our new uh, newest TV show host. He's his new yeah, uh, TV show called Life with Life with Show will air will debut this Sunday night at seven p.m. right here on Channel Forty Nine TV. What you think about that, man? Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, that's gonna add another to the lineup. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, 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 we drawing. Watch it. Yeah. We drawing. Yeah, most definitely. All right, y'all. It's time for us to. Okay, don't say nothing, man. 
We got to get, we got to put I, I got to put my introduction on. It's time for us mm-hmm. to get ready for the news she can use. Uh, we, we we always use our introduction. Donnell Baylor. 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 Got your news and weather right now on WKNY Radio. All right, child. That's right, child. Donnell Baylor got the news she can use. Shout out to everybody out there. This news is brought to you by Channel49TV.com. When it come down to what's going on in the community, y'all make sure if y'all looking for the hottest program, make sure you check Channel49TV.com out 24 hours a day for the hottest new program. Ain't that right, man? That's right. All right, man. We got to talk about some uh, sad news to report, man. Uh, when you Just when you think that everything is, is good, then that's when things mm. start happening. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, the latest update on the pandemic, the pandemic is still going on. The COVID-19, if you think that the COVID-19 is over, think again. According to uh, according to Associated Press, it's reporting that COVID-19 has came back out 354 people. We, we And we only talking about Tarrant County. 354 people. Uh, now has got the COVID nineteen. What you think about that, man? A new case is, is where well, the new case is three hundred fifty four new cases in Tarrant County. One death today. Yesterday we had two deaths. That 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 makes three deaths within the past forty eight hours. What you think? You know, all last year. Um, you know, I think after what March after March. You know, um, you know, we, they had the mask mandate, and that was in uh, Dallas County. And then, you know, that's all you heard, you know, was that the numbers, the numbers, mm-hmm. the numbers. And now, you know, with this new variant, uh, Delta Eight. Yes. Now, so are they saying that that's what it is, the new that, variant, the Delta well, Eight? They're not even. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm looking at as I'm looking at it right now. They are definitely saying that the the, the uh, Delta it has played a major role in this. And uh, we had our first, uh, actually, man, believe it or not, the first case of the Delta virus was in Dallas, Texas. And they also said that um, whoever this person was, this person traveled from Nigeria to Atlanta, Georgia, from Atlanta, Georgia to Dallas, Texas. What are your thoughts on that? That was that really, me. yeah, that really uh, brings me back to, I think, 2000 and what? Fourteen, something like that. Mm-hmm. Remember the first case came to the DFW area of the Ebola. Yeah, yes. the first case? yeah. <laughs> that brings me that. back to the first case. Now it's always Dallas that got to be the guinea pig for some reason. Dallas, Fort Worth, always got to be the one to get the first variant or something new. You know, right. it just rings a bell to me. That's all. Just, just now, just a reoccurrence of uh, of this, and that was from the what the Delta. Is, yeah, is that, that, Delta. Is that? Yeah, that's what they're saying. The first okay. case was in Dallas, and now, now they're saying that uh, COVID nineteen cases are rising again in North Texas. And they said the medical ex- expert says that the surge is driving by Delta. So you're right by the Delta variant, and uh, also it's, it's uh, saying that it's getting worse and it's spreading by the minute. They also are saying that people that already been vaccinated may have to end up being vaccinated again. Because of this, and they also talking about taking a some kind of booster shot. What are your thoughts on that? Well, then you know, uh, because I think that's what the same thing was with the Ebola at that time. Yes, you know, that was, yes. it was supposed to be. It was supposed to came out of what Nigeria, wherever it came out of, or some one of the uh, um, um, from the continent, uh, the African continent, and then um, um, so they were supposed that went to some city here, then came to, then was in Dallas. Uh, so you know, it, it's it's just. It's just ironic that, you know, it's just a reoccurrence of what, maybe that was, what, seven and years ago or something are, like that? Yeah, and not only that, it, but it they It just also, sounds the same to me. Right, right. And not only that, but they also are saying that um, how do you know if you uh, got it, if you got the virus? I mean, but, how, how do you know? Because this well, this, but, this uh, Delta thing is, is, is totally different. It's not like... With with the other one we had, with the other one you can actually you you know the signs, but this one they say you don't know the signs and you may have it and don't even know you got it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I would have to go back to the issue of do why is it that I got to take another um, shot now of uh, uh, a new strain of uh, COVID? You know, so now I got to take a double or a booster. So if I took those first two shots, then I got to take a booster or the first one. Now I take, yeah. take a booster. I, I yes. need to know what they were. 
So then, what is what am I getting the thing stuck up my nose for? To right. see what I to see if I get COVID or if I got uh, the Delta. I, uh, I don't know. That's a good question because I mean, but who do you really blame? Do do we blame my governor of Texas because Biden uh, said from the beginning that it is too early for us to start opening everything up. But we didn't listen to Joe Biden. When, when the president said it, we didn't listen to him. So now now look, uh, who do we blame? We blame the governor of Texas because the governor of Texas don't care. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about anybody. He's he putting the guns back on the street where we have no, no, now no license. You don't have to have a license uh, coming up in uh, in August and September when they start the new rules. So when it comes down to all of this stuff, uh, the governor of Texas is being greedy. He's greedy because he wants the business open back up. But the the, real, the reality is the, 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 the uh, state of Texas was not ready to open back up. Now we got all these people, new cases coming in from all over Dallas, Fort Worth, and across the state of Texas. So, again... I blame the governor of Texas for uh, opening everything back up 100%. He should have kept everything like it was. Now, uh, more people are, are, get, are getting this new virus. I, I'm sorry. I, I mean, that's just the way I feel. And this, well, is, not, this is not the, uh, and I will say, this is not the person, this is not the opinion of WKY Radio. This is the person, my personal opinion of Donnell Ballard. Go ahead, go ahead, man. And this would be John's personal opinion of John Williams. That's right. <laughs> but I would, I would think that, you know, if, excuse me, if, they, if it was some of a really care, because they've been now here in North Texas for the last, what, month, been shutting down a lot of the, uh, a, a lot of the COVID nineteen testing center sites. Where yeah, they could get, where you could get but the, uh, there's one on the west side of Fort Worth that's in the uh, Tom Thumb parking lot. They still are testing people, and uh, believe it or not, they they told me they can't say who it is, but they are telling me that a lot of people still testing positive for the coronavirus. So just when you think the coronavirus is over, it's not. It's not over. So what? So now the statistics on that particular number, they were saying that uh, the CDC, what, they were saying that uh, what, 70% of uh, the America or 60, something like that? Were, yeah, were, yeah. Uh, no, I think half, at least half, were um, had, com- had uh, complied with, you know, not, well, not complied, but had uh, uh, gone to be tested and then, uh, you know, took the, uh, the, 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 the shot. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, they, they are saying now. It's not everyone, but they are saying some people that. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll make a prime example. Uh, the people that left Texas and went to Washington D.C. to protest the voter rights, uh, they went. They when they went to Washington, they they tested. They didn't know it until they took the test, but they tested positive for the coronavirus. So uh, a lot of those people are. Uh, some of those people took the test, and some of the people didn't take the test. But the question is, I mean, but they tell you uh, when you when you take the test, they tell you that it's still not a one hundred percent guarantee. So it's not like you don't know. I mean, they told me it was not a one hundred percent guarantee. They 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 tell you to still wear your mask. You got, and I'm I'm not trying to talk about nobody, but you got yeah. idiots out there who say I ain't wearing my mask. Oh my, I'm not gonna wear my mask. Well, guess what? If you don't, if you don't wear your mask, you're taking a chance. So don't be fussing at me, getting on me. Well, I don't know why he wearing his mask. I'm wearing my mask because first of all, I'm a diabetic. First of all, I got congestive heart failure. Number three, I'm not trying to get nobody else sick, and I'm not trying to get sick. So yes, I took the vaccine, but yes, it's not a 100% guarantee. And they tell you that it's not a 100% guarantee. They tell you that. So it's not like they it's not like they tell you where well, uh, uh you're, you're gonna take this shot so you don't have to worry about it. No, they don't. They tell you from the beginning that you have to take you have to uh if you take the shot it's still not a guarantee. Yeah, because they were warning uh they've been warning everybody uh those that have taken the shot to uh, continue to still wear their mask and then yes, even social yes. distance. So they still be talking about. Even back and people not, time, and then that's the problem. Man. People are not doing it. People are not wearing their masks. And I heard people say, oh, well, you need to wear your mask the proper way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they right. They right. Because they see me. I, I'm going to tell you a funny story, uh, co-host, man. They see me Feel on, they see me on uh, TV in a newspaper. And uh, you probably see me on, on TV and, and yeah. I, I know you see me on TV a couple of times, and, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to, and you notice that I be trying to deal with my mask, don't you? 
Have you seen that? See some of those episodes of me on TV? Man, uh, slipping all out. Yeah, you do be seeing it, it, don't you? <laughs> you got it on your chin, <laughs> and it on your bottom lip. Oh my I'm like, god! And you, and you know what? Hanging it, off the earlobe, hanging oh off the ear. Everywhere I go. People tell me about that. People tell me. Don't let the wind that, be blowing. Oh, oh my God. You ain't. Oh, oh you are so right. You never get your man's right. I don't get it right, but the wind ain't blowing. So I know I don't get it right. Oh, man. And I remember when Dion Angle uh, from Fox News did an interview with me. And she kept saying, she kept saying, uh, sweetie, you got to keep your mask on. And I'm trying to hear her. I'm going to try to keep my mask on. And he's still <laughs> doing it. I'm like, oh, my God. What? What? I can't tell nobody else to keep their mask on. I ain't keeping my mask on. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's, de- <laughs> it's definitely going down. It's 38 after the hour. You're tuning in to us right here on WKY Radio. Again, uh, when it comes down to uh, headline news, uh, we got we got what you want. We try to keep you an update. And uh, coming up in a little bit, uh, I'm going to let you do sports news, man. NFL is threatened to forfeit a team for COVID-19 outbreak. Oh, my gosh. For an unvaccinated players. Players that did not get vaccine, the NFL could um, forfeit them for being on the team and COVID-19 outbreak among unvaccinated players. Well, you know, I would say that that reminds me of them uh, kneeling (laughs) during the uh, the anthem. I guess this would be a little bit different. Than uh, than than uh, racial profiling, but right, right, I guess, I right. Guess well, it be the, the bottom line still... is here, here's here's my theory on it. Okay, and I can't say what I really want to say because this is a Christian radio station, so I'm gonna keep that quiet. <laughs> but I will say this: yeah. is that uh, when you play for a major NFT and you make it all this money, you don't have a choice. Whether you uh should be uh vaccine or not, you making millions and millions of dollars, and either you gonna make the millions of dollars and take the vaccine, or you gonna you not going you not going to play. Bottom line is, bottom line is you not gonna play just because you got a choice. Yeah, you got a choice, but you also got a choice to either uh, play. And take the vaccine, I lose your job. Oh well, let me and, and, interject. Now, and, and, and I'm saying this because ain't nobody got time for you to be playing these stupid games. You got everybody life is in jeopardy because you want to play in the game, but you don't want to get you don't want to get vaccine. I, I'm sorry, that's if, if I was the coach and if I had that opportunity, I would fire your tail because there's too many people out here who, who wants who wants to do the right thing. I mean, I'm saying. I don't blame the NFL for that. NFL, do your job. I'm on your side. Now, my co-host may mm-hmm. say something different. <laughs> I love my co-host. Yeah, cause, cause we, cause dealing, we can agree to disagree with... because everything I say, he may not agree with, but hey, that's what we get paid for. Mm-hmm. To give our personal yeah. opinion. Am I right, brother? Right, right. Because, <laughs> you're with, because, you, you may, because now you're stepping over in the, in the law for contracts. You know, so that's contracts. And we took, uh, 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 I don't care there. if it's a contract. So contract. So now, I don't so care now in my contract. I mean, I don't care if it's a contract. You, if, if, if I tell contra- you that you in need the contract, to, no, if, if, but if I tell you you need to go get vaccine because I don't want you to get in anybody else infected, you should want to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In the contract, maybe that you, you, set you, up you, to you where endangering other people's the, lives. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's, in covered. a country, yeah, in a contract could be set up that it's at the owner's discretion for anything. They could just change the contract at any time. I'm sure uh, uh, most uh, most owners pretty much got something like that. They can just change it at any time, uh, and just the w- w- the conditions of the contract. So whatever they sign, and if they uh, are a protest, I would redo. That, I would turn that contract up, and I would redo that contract. I would yeah, turn so that contract up and, and I would redo it because first of all, well, I, I'm, the contract going to be pretty much at the discretion of the uh, of the owners. It's it pre- it should much be, be at, at and, and if I'm the it's owner and I tell you that you need to get vaccine because you 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 uh, get everybody else in, in, in fact the way you need to listen to me. I, I, I'm sorry. Well, it I, won't be what I'm. I'm getting mad, y'all. I'm, I'm trying mad. to say. 
<laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say, Danny, is that if people st- stand and say, well, 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 we don't want some type of vaccine, or we don't want some, some type of... Well, guess you know, what? If you don't want no what vaccine, guess what? Syrup. You will be fired. You uh, will be, yeah, but this, you will be fired. Like your contract is no longer ready to be signed. Okay, I yeah. will not sign your contract. contract you fired. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is because somebody's gonna have to step up. Somebody's gonna have to step up. I mean, if you get everybody where they want to say, well, no, you know, uh, I don't recall that being contract. That's not part of my stipulations in my contract. Then you gonna have a. Then you got to change your contract, or you got to make those contracts fitting uh, to where uh, whoever comes in next. That's that's the idea. That's the understanding of it. And that's all I'm saying is that it's just well, gonna and, be a and big I know, you, and I know what you're doing. I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. He's he's not not looking at it on my side. He's actually looking at it in a legal perspective because he went to school for that. So he's looking at it as on a legal perspective, and I, I respect that because you. But what you're saying is is that they can't just tear those contracts. They have to. They once they sign that contract, they have to bind by the rules and regulation, the owner and the team. Am I right? Is that it's what you're saying? Be much you, you, you're not looking at it like be- right. You're not looking. At, I want. I want everybody to understand. He's looking at it in a legal perspective because that's what he do. That's his line of work. So I, I respect that. I'm looking at it as a human being side. Am I right about that? <laughs> Well, then that's just like broken legs, broken ankles. Shout out to it's just like Nicole. All of it. Shout out to Nicole Hemphill, Trinity Metro driver. Shout out to she listens to us every night. She tuned into us last night. Shout out to Nicole. Shout out to my boy Alexis. His brother is the one that uh, seen that song from Nigeria, man. What you think about that? Oh yeah, you know I like that song. You been yeah, listening to the radio station out. today, man? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm How this song been coming on? Yes, all of them. Wow. I mean, I just about got the line up down. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> I just got the line up down. Did the new? Oh. Did the new? Did the new drop come on yet? New sound. I was listening for it. If, if I did miss it, I was probably doing something at that time. Because uh-huh. uh, I, well, I, I just had it started, on. To be busy, Tony said it. Clothes on everything. Tony said it actually started at three. Okay. Shout out to uh. Oh, shout out to Life with Show. Don- Donovan is the new uh, going to be the new TV show host on our show. He's out of Washington, D.C. D.C. Washington in the house. Yes, yes. Um, matter of fact, I'm 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 gonna try to call him before the night so we do a, and do a we can do a quick interview with him to find out what his his show is about. All right, man. I tell you what, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to your boy Ted. You got something to say to? Oh, shout out to uh, shout out to Dion Ballard because he uh, he thought shout he was he, he was trying to call in yesterday. What you think about that? Oh yeah, yeah. We, you know, uh, we, we we always want Mr. Ballard on the show. Yeah, shout always. out to Dion. Oh, did Dion tell you what I was with the with the record label? I think did it was did we mention that at one time? Uh, was the, it, uh, for those who do not president? know, I am the president of yeah, Elicited Records. Elicited Records. I took over about yeah. two months ago as the new president. And so I asked oh, myself, but why did you want me to be out of all the people? Me be the president? I don't know about no record. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, man. Keep it locked. It's almost. Oh, we still got. Well, I'm tripping, y'all. We still. It ain't It ain't almost uh, 9 o'clock yet. No. Mm-mm. We're going to go to your. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. I want okay. you to introduce the song, Tad song. Oh. I'm going to uh, let you go to it. It's not even a name Chance, on it. It's just black called Gun Black Crime. Yeah, Black on Black Crime. <laughs> it needs to stop. I love the way Taz be rapping. Teaching my boy, I'm a boy. Taz. Wow. All right, it's y'all. It's Black on Black Crime, man. You know. You go. You will hide that in your head. You gonna be <laughs> when you get off the radio. You gonna yeah, be. Yeah. You gonna be thinking about that. I like I, them horns, man. Yeah, yeah. me too. Too. He don't step his game up a whole lot because he used to do everything with with, with like a band, like, like a high school band type type style. But he kind of right. he kind of don't do that. All right, y'all, we're gonna go to Taz. It's called Gun Balance right here on WKNY Radio. We'll be right back. This 
This one's a banger. This black on black crime, man. This needs to stop. If you didn't know it by now, Playboy got races high. Community revolution in progress. What you bet? We certified to this game. So put this thing in check. You can be who you be. Just stop the gun violence. Give them all they can see. Just stop the gun violence. You can live be the streets. Just stop the gun violence. On top on point, who we be. Just stop the gun violence. Big clap, let Batman stop that. We killing ourselves, you ain't know that. You can be gangster, put them hands up. Stop taking these lights, be a man up. Tattoos don't make no gangster. And we not targets, man. You need to get your money instead of sitting trying to bang. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you see, they took them out. You see, the name of the game is the key of what we about. There's no progress in our race if we taking leaders out. I hope this knowledge to your brain now make the world scream and shout. This black on black crime, man. This needs to stop. If you didn't know it by now, Playboy got races high. Community revolution in progress. What you bet? We certified to this game. Let's put this thing in check. You can do what you do. Just stop the gun violence. Come in the crime and what's up? The system's gonna find us. Jesus, the son of God from the back in the days was black. But you see what the Romans did? They crucified no fan. See, if we do gun violence, we help them kill ourselves. We all committed a sin, but we can stop it here. This black on black crime, man. This needs to stop. If you didn't know it by now, Playboy got races high. Community revolution in progress. What you bet? We certified to this game. Let's put this thing in check. You can be who you On top on point, who we be? Just stop the gun violence. Just stop the gun violence. Just stop the gun violence. Booking a room with two beds at a hotel isn't exactly your idea of a romantic getaway. Orbitz gets it. Visit orbitz.com slash pride to find hotels that welcome you to travel as you are. Orbitz, travel as you are. So just let me be myself to say and do whatever I please. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerry Midas Hardison of The Executives. Hi, guys, and I'm Shelly Clark White of The Honeycomb. Hey, and I'm Tim Knox of the Chairman of the Board. And together, we are co hosts of the sensational video podcast, That's My Story. First of all, a huge thank you to everyone who tuned in to a few or even all 50 of our episodes every Thursday night since the beginning of 2020. And now we are excited and happy to announce that our shows are being aired all over again on a brand new platform. That's right, Shelly. Our amazing past episodes can be seen again every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on Channel 49 TV. So guess what, folks? We will see you there. That's every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Right here on Channel 49 TV. Hi, Dallas Forward. I'm Darnell Bauer. And make sure you check me and your boy, Joan Williams, out from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. right here on WKNYRadio.rocks. We're going to be doing it big. We got the celebrity news. We got news. We got community. We got some good independent gospel music. Again, tune in to us from 8 to 10 right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. That's 8 p.m. Dallas Fort Worth and 9 o'clock. Eastern time, and I approve this message for you guys. 
Duty JD King right here. It's your season video broadcast. I would love for y'all to tune in with us Monday through Friday right here on Channel 49 with our hosts Robert Caldwell, Felicia Caldwell, and Miss Cheryl Hayes out of Avon Park, Florida. So tune in with us, family, right here Monday through Friday right here on Channel 49. It's your season video broadcast. Get 30% shorter average wait time. When you buy and book your appointment at DiscountTire.com, you can get 30% shorter average wait time in the store. Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of. At Parker Clay, we make sustainable, full-grain leather bags and accessories that are designed in California and handcrafted in Ethiopia for the world. Our mission is to provide dignified, ethical employment and uplift Ethiopian women out of exploitation. Through this type of social and economic empowerment, we aim to transform lives and communities. Join our community and mission. Use code POD20 to save 20% on your first order. Parker Clay, a better bag for a better world. The new sounds of gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station. All right, y'all, that's right, y'all. We are your 24 hours gospel music station right here on WKNY Radio. Hope y'all enjoyed that song right there. Uh, man, that, that, was, that was a hot song. All right, Ooh. man, we got a very special guest. And, and, and wait a minute, y'all, before we bring him on, St. John, you know I got to put this on. I got to always put that, uh, that, that, what they call it, the hand clap? That. Oh, I, oh, I can't find a, I can't find a hand clap. I know I got the hand clap somewhere. What, what did I do with that hand clap? You find the Man, I know I got that hand clap. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I found it, y'all. I'm, we, we looking for the hand clap, y'all. Nine, okay, eight, I think I found seven, it. I found eight, it, I found it. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. Y'all, man, we want to introduce my boy J.D. King, one of the hottest gospel music video hosts across the globe. I, I, I'm giving him big credit. I say across the globe. What's up, J.D., hey, man? man? Welcome to uh, Donnie B. Gospel Radio right here on WKY hey, Radio. Brother, How you doing, please. man? Hey, man, to God be the glory, man. Thank you, my brothers, man. Thank y'all for inviting me, man. It's an honor to be here with y'all, sir. You the real yeah. deal, my brother. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. Man, thank you so much, yeah, man. You've been so checking much. us out for the past, what, two, three days? Yes, sir. Right, yes, and, sir. And tell us what you like the most about the program, man, because we got a lot of listeners tuning in to us from all over. What I love about this program, honestly, man, I love it because it's just so real, man. Mm-hmm. You understand Thank where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. And the music that y'all play and the host, man, y'all just some real people, man. So I love that so much about y'all, man. I love this. I love this. Love this program. Love this show, man. This show is fire. And the, y'all play <laughs> and the artists and the music that y'all play on this show is fire to God be the glory. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. And, and that's what we try to do, man. We try to play music that the other stations don't play. And shout out to yeah, the, and shout out to man WSTG uh, Gospel yeah. Radio. Uh, uh, yeah. they're, they're moving my show to their station August the sixth. Amen. Y'all can that's check me out up. every Friday, and me and John are out every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, we're gonna be holding it down in the number one time slot, 10 p.m. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna be playing that gospel hip. It's gonna be strictly gospel hip hop, uh, gospel hip hop hey, from 10 to you 10 to 12. Me. So we, I'm, you we're, we're really excited you about that, man. John. You and Mr. John, y'all that dynamic duo, man. <laughs> oh man, you ain't heard nothing yet, <laughs> man. But real quick, JD, man, the left and right punch. Yeah, that, that's right. Yes, so, uh, real quick, man, tell us, man, how long you been doing what you're doing with this, uh, with this gospel video, and how did you get started, man? Tell, tell us your, yeah. your testimony, because um, everybody has a powerful testimony, amen. man, and I want to hear your Jump testimony. Right in. Hey man, to God be the glory, man. God placed this on my heart for the radio, maybe about four, four and a half years ago. And uh, because of um, the one, the reason why that I thank God for that, because you have a lot of gospel art. Maximum volume. Um, they have major radio stations in their hometown. They won't even play them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If they're not big enough, they play them. So he placed it on my heart, man, to give these young brothers and sisters, man, um, to, to to be able to, to share their ministry. Amen. You know what I'm saying? With many, with many folks that, that God allowed it to happen. And it's also with the video, too, man, because, yes, you know, I thank God yes. for that. So I play just local independent artists, man. So to give them the chance, man, to, um, to let their ministry be shown around the world. Yes, you know yes. what I'm saying? 
So I've been <laughs> video been doing it going on two two years now. Okay. Radio been like almost five years. Yes, wow. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. Yeah. So um, I get number independent artists, local artists, man, from everywhere around the world. You wow. know what I'm saying? All the that people, all this that people turned out wouldn't even give them a chance. Right, right. And, and, and also, yes, man, I, I tell artists this all the time. Y- yes, we're a Christian radio station, but we want. Sometimes we need that inspiration. We need that inspiration. Uh, you know, uh, people tell me that what they love about listening to our radio show is the yes, is, and listening to the radio station. Period. Is, is the type of music, especially in the time we living in now, where Amen. gun violence is up. People, too, yeah, people are killing people, and there's so much craziness going on. And, and people need a a a special place where they can come and listen to some positively music and and that's what i like about your yes, video sir. your video has positive music and and I, I, tell, I tell people all the time don't just listen to the beat listen to the word listen to what hey, they're man, saying to that, that's important glory, let's talk about yes, that man sir. yes sir to god be the glory man i i, I thank god for that man and, and we play a uplifting it's just like you said, brother, in the time that we're living in now, man, and those need that uplifting spirit, yeah. man. Even through the darkest time, you have to have uplifting. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. Music. Yes, sir. I was going to say, you know, uh, you, you, what you, what you saying you've been in business for four and a half years or four and a half years ago is when you, the vision. Well, I've been in, in, in for the business wise about four and a half years. Yes, sir. Okay, wow. yeah. So I was gonna ask you. So, you, what what type of service do you provide? What would how would you how would you categorize um, um, like video recording and editing? Would you what, what type of service do you provide? I and mean, what's the oh, yeah. that's that's a good question. Well, um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. I provide. Um, we do the editing um, um, uh, for as our video commercials. Mm-hmm. We edit the video commercials and uh, audio commercials, and uh, uh, we make sure that that the music is is, is definitely get rotation without right. a doubt. Yes, sir. so we we provide pretty much everything, man, that we can for all, that artists need. That's yes, sir. So would that be would there? So if so, if a person say myself came, uh, would I yes, be sir. coming to into would I be coming into a studio? Would it be dry? Would I just come into the studio with an ideal, or would I have to have something already done and then you, it, it would already be dry and then you just take it and you you, you put in whatever I, I'm looking for, or do you do it on spot and on location? Well, a lot of times I do it on the spot, sir. And a lot of times you come in with your ideas. I, li- I like the, a lot of artists, man, just to be free. Uh, if they if they like, you know, say, hey, man. Um, um, you know, I give them some ideas and stuff like that, but you know, it just to me, it's a unit thing. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We we come together and work as one together, man, uh, to, just to make your vision or however you want to make it come to life. Excellent. Wow. What's some of the projects you? What's some of the projects you worked on, and uh, and 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 yes, uh, that you could kind of give uh, an idea of what you're saying? And maybe some uh, some people that we may know or some locals that you've recently worked on, uh, and kind of give some ideas of, uh, of 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 some of the projects that you that you've done. Well, right now I just finished up Prophet Lou project. Okay. Uh, where he's really editing his promo videos now, and I did my brother. Um, uh, but Prophet Lou project it'll be on August August the third. Oh, wow. And um, he's from yeah he's from Central Florida area, and I did my brother got a his EP a drop the thirtieth. His name is <clears throat> his name is D Jackson. Okay. Drop the thirtieth for this month. Yes, indeed. And um, also I did with some records in the past. You know what I'm saying? That's before I came to Christ. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, before, yeah, Regular before, records yeah. and stuff like and that. R and D. And my sister, uh, my sister Zay Zay Solomon. She has an EP that coming out now that we just finished up. Okay. And uh, she have a first single called um, Higher, which is an awesome single, my brother. I know you're gonna send so it to I us, ain't you? Oh yeah, to God be the glory, man. So I do, I do a lot of work for the young artists in the community, artists that nobody know. You so know what so, I'm let, so let me ask you this real quick, man. If uh, yes, what advice would you give to any up and coming gospel artist? Out, well, any any artist out there that's trying to get their music out there, what's the first thing you would tell them? Because because I love to get I love to get advice from different people, and especially people like you. Um. The first advice, honestly, I would give, man. First of all, before you make any move, you pray about it first, mm, and mm. and make sure make sure you have your make sure Absolutely. you have movement. That's the that's the that's the first thing. First, make sure you pray about it and let your decision be led about God, and then make sure you're publishing. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're publishing and attack. 
You know what I'm saying? And then do your best to stay independent. You know what I'm saying? Look for independent um a radio station like y'all. They actually show love, man. Yeah. You ain't gotta try to for, you ain't gotta try to force your way into them to mainstream radio if they don't you know what I'm saying, you have to go through all that cause independent stations like y'all, man, that show artists so much love and show them so much respect, man. Right there, that's a beautiful thing. You understand where I'm coming from? Right. So I wow. just tell them to stay stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just stay focused and first keep their eyes on the on the mission that God placed in their spirit. Absolutely. Wow, man, that's real and, talk right there. And also, man, and, and we, got, got, we do got a lot of independent yeah. artists that tune in to the program. Shout out to uh, Roselle out of uh, Nigeria. Uh, we got we got a oh, lot of man. people out of Nigeria that listen to the show. Yes, so, what advice would you give to those overseas, man, that's tuning in to us right now? <laughs> It's pretty much the, it's pretty much the same advice, man. Just just to stay focused and keep God first, and let God, you know, make the decisions and um and do your best, man, to to do quality music as much as possible if you can, because you know it, yeah, that's it, real sometimes talk everybody right there. Can, everybody can't afford certain type of you know studios and stuff like that. So just do your best to put out good quality music, man, and continue to just let God lead you. You know what I'm saying? And stay independent. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you have a yeah, do you do y'all have any promotions? And what's your URL for someone that want to get out there? Maybe y'all have a payment plan or something like that uh, for people that want to um, that may be interested in, in shooting a video or doing something um, positive uh, and getting you guys to uh, putting your uh, putting your spin on it. Uh, do you have any promotions? Do you have anything that you that y'all promoting uh, as far as um, um, getting bringing people in that are um, that are local artists and that are independent artists? And uh, what type of deals do you have? Please give your information. Because I need him myself. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle John. Uh, hey, he Uncle John for now. Oh, he ain't, he ain't playing. <laughs> and my, do, I, do I have some questions for you, man? I'm sorry, boy. Uncle John, don't be playing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man, listen, um, uh, what you can do, you can hit us up at free so not at gmail. Free so not at, at gmail.com, man. And we got, we got a 350. 350 package deal where we make sure we take care of all, okay. we take care of all the audios and, and yeah, 350. That ain't bad. And you gonna have to, and you and and you gonna have to get your that information to Danny too, because yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get yeah, that, brother. Four yeah, that's a four months deal. You know, three fifty for four months. Ooh, man, that's a okay. good deal. Yeah, and we do the editing. We do the editing. We um, we show we create your promo videos. We create your um, your audio videos, and uh, we promote. Sun up to sundown, man. Four days a week. Well, seven sure days a week. Do. And, he, and he ain't joking about that because he be all on Facebook promoting. <laughs> I be seeing him all over you know, Facebook. Man, man. And he ain't joking about that. <laughs> hey, JD. Hey, JD, you don't mind me getting it from Danny right here, right? So when I hey, get it from him, and you know yeah, yeah, I'm going to be calling. Yes, sir. It's okay, my brother. You're more than welcome, Uncle John. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be hitting you up, man. Oh, really, man. Hey, 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 we family now. Uh, that's right. That's right, man. You, you're right. Man, I'm gonna money to you real fast. John, anything. Man, my ideas, man. I'm gonna be John, shooting money to you fast. Anything else? That's no, happening everything. John, anything else? Man. John, let me ask you. I got a quick question for you. Anything else that yes, we didn't ask you that, that you may, you may want to talk about real quick? Hey, my brother. Um, everything is good, man. Um, what I want to do is, man, I want to give y'all brothers um props, man. Y'all, my family. Thank I you. love what y'all doing. Continue to y'all do good work, man. I love it to God be the glory, brother. Thank and you I so much, man. We getting a lot of re- brother, and, and JD. We can. I'm, it's funny you say that. We getting a lot of response, man, from people overseas and people all across oh, man, the country. They're right. saying that they love to the God show the and they love the station. And if they're listening, and they and love. They listening right now. Yeah, they listening. They, I'm sorry, my brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. And they listening right now. This is the station you want to connect with. Thank you, you man. Heard? If y'all over here, if y'all listening right now, man, please stay keep in contact with these brothers. Please come on, come. You heard me? Yes, indeed, man. This is the right station. These are the right folks. That God, that God placing your heart. Move on. You heard me? Man, I appreciate Absolutely. that, man. And I'll just go ahead. Want to say this? Uh, to thank. Uh, Donny B for allowing me this opportunity and WKNY Radio as well for uh, allowing us the opportunity and the platform uh, as well because uh, it's so needed, you know. Yeah, uh, it is. There, there, yeah. It, it ain't just no other ways to really do what we're doing uh, without these opportunities, and we certainly want to say thank you to those that are um, that that, are, that have allowed us to be involved. 
Amen. To God be the glory. All right, yes, y'all. Man, yes, thank you again, man. And uh, oh, you're more than welcome, man. Uncle John, hit me up. Oh, <laughs> he, he, he already gave him a new name. <laughs> yeah. JD yeah, King said, you know, Uncle John. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey what? Everybody gonna be calling him Uncle John now. Hey, hey, JD, I don't even want to know what you gonna call hey, me, JD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, 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 I'll you can come up with a name for me. You know I'm gonna come up with one for you, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Already, already uh, got one for you. you oh know, man. Uh oh. Okay. Go ahead and say it, man. You, you missed the deal. Uh, <laughs> you know it. I like that. I like you that. Missed the deal. You all right, y'all, man. Hey, coming through, man. <laughs> John, John, don't, I mean, JD, don't go nowhere, man. We're going to talk to you out there. All right, y'all, man. We're going to have a lot more coming up right here, man. We're going to go to my boy, Roselle, man. New song called Change, representing that Nigerian. Y'all check it out. We'll be right back. We're all fighting for a better country. A place where our generation will be proud of. And this fight. We are not done until we see a change. We say we need a change, then you put us in change. Then you don't have now to put things right. And then you find thousands, and then you put us in pain. Again. The whole land, we are living in fear So many fighters are in their graves Oh, Lord, we need your help Oh, oh, oh. Lord, we need your help For your rise So when we fall So we will rise again I know one day We gonna win But Remember two runs Gonna make a right So only fight For what is right No retreat Surrender. I know one day we gonna win. You say we need to change, then you put us in change. Then you don't have now to put this right. And then you fight us, then you put us in pain. Now they have to say it's a photo shot When we try to speak up, they are keeping us short They are keeping us short, they are keeping us short All we need is a better place For all of us to be safe Is that too much you us from you To us from you, to us from you Now we do have a right to leave again
bringing you another hour of the hottest tracks from around the globe. From around the globe. You don't own me. Booking a room with two beds at a hotel isn't exactly your idea of a romantic getaway. Orbitz gets it. Visit orbits.com slash pride to find hotels that welcome you to travel as you are. Orbits, travel as you are. So just let me be myself to say and do whatever I please. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerry Midas Hardison of The Executives. Hi, guys, and I'm Shelly Clark-White of The Honeycomb. Hey, and I'm Tim Knox of the Chairman of the Board. And together, we are co-hosts of the sensational video podcast, That's My Story. First of all, a huge thank you to everyone who tuned in to a few or even all 50 of our episodes every Thursday night since the beginning of 2020. And now we are excited and happy to announce that our shows are being aired all over again on a brand new platform. That's right, Shelly. Our amazing past episodes can be seen again every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on Channel 49 TV. So guess what, folks? We will see you there. That's every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Right here on Channel 49 TV. Hi, Dallas Forward. I'm Darnell Ballard. And make sure you check me and your boy, Joan Williams, out from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. right here on WKNYRadio.rocks. We're going to be doing it big. We got the celebrity news. We got news. We got community. We got some good independent gospel music. Again, tune in to us from 8 to 10 right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. That's 8 p.m. Dallas Fort Worth at 9 o'clock. Eastern Time, and I approve this matches for you guys. Judy J.D. King, right here, it's your season video broadcast. I would love for y'all to tune in with us Monday through Friday, right here on Channel 49, with our hosts, Robert Caldwell, Felicia Caldwell, and Miss Cheryl Hayes out of Avon Park, Florida. So tune in with us, family, right here, Monday through Friday, right here on Channel 49, it's your season video broadcast. Get 30% shorter average wait time when you buy and book your appointment at DiscountTire.com you can get 30% shorter average wait time in the store. Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of. At Parker Clay, we make sustainable, full-grain leather bags and accessories that are designed in California and handcrafted in Ethiopia for the world. Our mission is to provide dignified, ethical employment and uplift Ethiopian women out of exploitation. Through this type of social and economic empowerment, we aim to transform lives and communities. Join our community and mission. Use code POD20 to save 20% on your first order. Parker Clay, a better bag for a better world. Where is the love? 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 Where's the love? Where's the love? Where's the love?
The new sounds of gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station. All right, y'all, man. Y'all already know what time it is. It is after 9 o'clock. John, you already know what time it is, don't you? It's the birthday show. Uh-oh, here we go. Birthday show. Wait a minute, here we go. Here All right, child, man, if you got a birthday yeah. shout out every single day, every night uh, after nine o'clock, we do birthday shout out. Uh, yesterday, Anna Evans celebrated her birthday. Uh, you know, yeah. I, one thing I noticed about women, um, John, women do not like for you to tell their age. Why is that? Yeah, that's that always have been their pet peeve. I know. Um, my my mom had a birthday, and then you gotta get you gotta play the guest game with them. Yeah, you know? and my mom had a birthday well, you know back what? in December, and uh-huh. uh, she said, "You tell nobody my age." <laughs> I love your mom. I'm talking about you. <laughs> well, you know what though, Donnie? You know, traditionally the African spiritual system for males were that they never re- really traditionally. Uh, was supposed to celebrate that birthday. So on. Um, wait a minute. Are you ser- wait a minute. Are you serious about that? Yeah, particularly on the African spiritual system. Uh, wait a minute. The sisters are the the male. The males never were supposed to celebrate the birthday, and that was the reason why. So just taking that tradition myself recently, I ain't really you know. Americanized, but anyway, uh, <laughs> but recently taking that tradition, I went to my mother on my birthday and I gave her uh, her birthday gift uh, because what you give her? Yeah, because um, uh, and and so I gave her what my son gave me. <laughs> okay, what was that? What was that? He gave, he gave me a watch. Uh, so okay, that's, okay. So, so yeah, so uh, what, hey, so hey, because wait, that's wait, her wait, because wait, that's wait, her birthday. Wait, because that's the day she gave say, birth. Because I'm a male, I can't give birth. So let me ask you this. So really? Oh, now I get it. So really? Did you, you, you just got it? I just got it. Bring so me really, Bring what you're me saying here. is that the, the the female is supposed to be the one that really celebrates the birthday because they yeah. gave birth. That made oh my birth. gosh! You, That's that the made birthday. perfect sense. No, it don't. It don't make sense. It, we got no, rid of that tradition. Must didn't make sense to the, to the black folks. Well, it, it, it still don't make sense. I mean, black men don't do it. We, I mean, but it, it still don't make sense. We hog up the birthday from I my mom. JD was so I bet JD black can hog up with us on this. Black men, y'all better stop hogging up the birthday from your mama. <laughs> That's your mama's birthday. That's the day she gave birth. Oh, you better okay. Give so her really? Proud. So brothers, you ain't got one. So to all the brothers out there, you may want to think about the next time. It ain't really your birthday. It's your mother's <laughs> birthday because she it's gave birth to you. She so she is celebrating the birth of your and, tail. Right. Of so your my tail. Bro- my son's coming up to me. My birthday in the world. We in your real birthday world. When you done gave birth <laughs> to somebody. <laughs> Let me have your head. Man, shout, out to, <laughs> man, shout out to JT for uh, uh, calling in to the radio show, talking to us tonight. Uh, he's still listening to us. He Absolutely. said he loved the show. He said he yes. said we. I, I love what he said. He said we wanted the realest show. Well, we, uh, to be honest with you, uh, uh, John, we don't have no choice but to be real, do we, John? Yeah, I mean, and and if we, if I, if I had a choice, I'd still be R E A L. And, gonna, and gonna, I don't need I to have one. How does it feel? <laughs> I'd still. Can I ask that. you something, John? Uh-huh. I wonder how does it feel to be fake. It it, it 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 don't feel real. I mean, because I mean, I the song know. says to be real. Wait a minute! I thought you were singing that song. Reason, reason why I can't. No, oh no! I was singing. What the thing? Wait a minute! 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 Wait a minute. Tell me John, real. John, 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 stop! You got, you got to stop. be real. John, 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 stop! You got to be real. They ain't real, huh? <laughs> tell me real. Uh, and, and I'm gonna tell y'all, this show is never rehearsed. What never you rehearsed. get is what All you right. get. What you get is what you get. What you In got acting? is what you got. In acting, when we rehearsed, and shouts out to the uh, Den Community Theater, Jubilee Theater here. There's a couple of other theaters. The only uh, black black theater in Fort Worth, y'all. 
is the Jubilee Theater. Oh, and there's a couple of theaters in Dallas. I think the Dallas. Uh, Y'all yeah, got uh, the Dallas Black Dallas Art. Black Alumni, Black Art. Yeah, Black yeah, Alumni Dallas Theater. Black something Art. like that. Yeah, uh, I think that's off of Jefferson over there. Uh, Shouts out to them. But yeah, in acting, man, uh, it, it, you know, there's a whole lot of rehearsal. And when you know when you're doing a whole lot of rehearsal, you know you're just getting into a repetitive, a repetitiveness. And so that's why I, I like this about this show here. You know, we, we don't have to just be in, um, in in some type of rehearse. You know, it's not really rehearsed. It's it's it's. Line upon line, the Bible says, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. That's what the Bible talks about. Okay. And that's what it is here. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. You're a mess, boy. I told y'all he a mess. All right, y'all, let's go to some more music right now. Shout out to, uh, man, we got, we, uh, shout out to Minister Todd out of Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out, shout uh, out. Man, I, I had a, uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about what all did you do. Shout out to Miss Latrina from SLM Production. Okay, we're going to go to, uh, where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Oh, we got to go. Let's see. What's up? I don't know Let me turn a page here. Let's go it's to How Excellent. Good. How Excellent. Do, do you know who sang that song oh, by Mississippi? Lord. Mississippi who? Mississippi Man Squad. That's who. That's who sing how I excellent. You know I love Mississippi Man Squad. They, they sing how yeah. excellent. We're going to the song right now. Excellent. All right, y'all. Here we go, y'all. How excellent by Mississippi Man Squad, y'all. We'll be right back. Tune in to us. WKNY okay. Radio. Donna B. Johnny. I mean Donna B. and John Ooh. Williams.
The new sound of gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station. Yeah, that's right, y'all. We are your 24 hours gospel music station right here. Uh, I want to say a shout out to all the late, the late, the lapers. What you call it, John? The late, the late nipers. <laughs> late, late, yeah, late uh, nipers. That's, that's, that's tuning in to us. We got a lot of people out there in Atlanta. I mean, I said Atlanta, Joy. We got a lot of people <laughs> out there listening to us. In Nigeria. In the, yeah, in the late night hours uh, who are uh, tuning in to us. And they say they stand up just to listen to our radio show. So shout out you. to your boy, your boy from Nigeria. Go ahead and say his name because I'll be messing uh, up. Roselle. Roselle, yes. Who got the song Change? Change, yeah, change. Yes, yes. So, anyway, uh, it's time for us to get ready for the jobs. All right, y'all. If you are in the Dallas Fort Worth area or if you're in Fort Worth and you're looking for a part time position job, guess what? Matt Donald's on Camp Bowie in West Fort Worth are looking for day closer position. Crew and manager position are available. They start you off with $10 and up. So if you want to make $10 an hour and you got a little experience, one of the benefits you get, John, you ready? Yeah, for it? tell us about you it. Get yeah, free, come on. You get a free meal. You get free uniform. Uh-huh. You get insurance. Uh-huh. You get tuition assistance and flexible yeah. schedule. That means that you can get them your own schedule of what time you want to work. What you think about that, John? That's what's and up, man. Not, Somebody, you know, that sounds. Go ahead, go I ahead. I can say, man, that sounds like a job I would have been looking for when I was around about seventeen. Well, we, you know, sixteen, right, seventeen, right. something like that. And that would have been ideal. Yes, yes. Even and, now, even even older now, age now, that would have been the ideal of say John, flexibility. Say, John, I think I need to sneak that over to my son. My 14, my 14 can we move up? Year, my fourteen. Can we move up? He's school? probably listening to us. That's 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 the job. Him, and, him and, and then beat. there's also another. Instead of him playing beat, say say. Mm-hmm. I'm talking real loud. You know Instead what? There's another beat, also man. another job over there. It's um at the 99 cent store. Uh, they had a big sign on their window, right? Oh, not too yeah. far from that McDonald's, oh, right there off of Campo yeah. as well. Yeah, in that same area. So, boom. Why? Wow. Want to check that out as well? Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna go check out both of them because maybe that may be an opportunity for my son to start making him some money. Instead of asking me you know. for money. <laughs> Dang. Dang, yeah, it's money. time to get to doing something. You know, these kids over here is pretty wild. We're, we're, Dang, I, you got I some, am. Oh, Dang, you got Dang, some money. Dang. 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 I need some money. I need some money. Instead Dang. of shooting BB guns and pellet guns and shooting that mailboxes, they could at least be having a hat on and a uniform and, you know. Yeah, but uh, making you, a little it, bit of something. It, it no good and and I would, I wouldn't, you, no, uh-uh, but I wouldn't mind seeing them in a little uniform. Maybe sometime their pants might slip down a little bit, but at least they had work. <laughs> I don't, no, 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 no. If I met, no, no, I see it a lot. If, if, I go up to, yeah, but I'm if I'm at a restaurant, you, I see it a lot. But look, if I'm at a restaurant, let's be real. If I'm at a restaurant, I see and, see and, and, and I'm at McDonald's, Right, because I go to every single morning. Uh, shout out to shout out to all the McDonald's employees at uh, on Campbell because I go to get my cup of coffee every single morning. Out. But if I'm there <laughs> and I'm eating my food and somebody uh, all of a sudden pants fall halfway down, I'm have a I'm gonna have a problem with that. I'm gonna have a problem. I'm gonna, sir, can you pull your pants up? <laughs> Don't nobody want to see them nasty, dirty brows. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm oh, just going well, to say it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I don't even think, like, oh, and St. John, I don't like, even think they, they even, work. you know, back in the old school days, they used to tell you back. See, a lot of people don't know that them, them, y'all putting y'all pants halfway down, that ain't new. I want y'all to know that that, that ain't new because Chris Prouse, remember Chris Prouse? Hey, their pants was Chris down Pro- and now backwards. Chris Cross them pants were like that. <laughs> Chris Cross them had their pants backwards. Had everybody yeah, and, wanted and man. And speaking of that, because it is old school Thursday, I remember that was that was my favorite group. Chris Cross was my favorite oh, group. Yeah. Oh, man, when Thursday. they when they I had their pants that. backwards, it had me wanting to put my pants backwards. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna even lie. It, 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 it was it, 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 it,
Chris Brown them had enough sense to put it backwards. That was a cool style for me. I, I used to love trying to wear my my pants backwards. Now, I ain't going to wear them halfway down, but I, back then, I wanted to wear my pants backwards. I wanted to, to get all the girls then. And then also they start, uh, 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 say, 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 kid. And your pants backwards. I look at it, I, I say, okay. Uh, why is it to you? <laughs> Oh well, I man, uh, you know people don't wear their pants. I said you must say you must say seen Chris Cross. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I wish we had that song. I play a piece of that song, man. That, yeah, that was yeah. woo. That was a hey, but this is this is yeah. That was back in the days, man. Oh, you know, I think ninety two. But this is old school. This is old school Thursday. So who you got on some? We forgot, uh, some we of the forgot old to ask JD what was his favorite old school. What? Okay, y'all. We want y'all to call in. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the number out on 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 Facebook. We want y'all to call us right now and let us know what is your favorite oh. old school anything. Old school. Old school cartoon. I, I, I got some shout outs oh, on old you school. Got some old school. Oh, I, wanna, I got I some old school it. shout outs. I want to hear it got, right now. I want some old school. But, but these are these are these are old school shout outs for gospel. These oh, are, okay, um, okay. Um, we ain't so, got no old so, school so, for. We ain't got no old school like breast monkey, breast monkey, oh, chunky. Hey, breast monkey. Come on, man. Breast monkey, monkey, chunky. Hey, it was that breast monkey. monkey. <laughs> Breast monkey, monkey. That's what it was. Breast monkey, chunky monkey. That's monkey, what it was. Breast That's what it monkey, was. Chunky. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. My hoochie. Tailpipe. Rolling. You know Tailpipe. Jack. You know I that. forgot. We are on My a, We are on a Christian uh, radio see, station. See, oh, bad host, you got me. You, you, you got started me going it. That way. Uh, you I'm started gonna go back it. to my gospel old school. Who I got? I got uh, some I gospel hear, old school tribute. No, I want to hear when we come back. We're going to another gospel song, y'all. Shout out to everybody out there tuning in to us right here on the that? hottest station. And and and, and did, did we do the birthday already? Oh, we got the gospel news coming up right now. Y'all check out the gospel news, and we'll be right back with Nyla Taylor right here on WKNY Radio. WKNY right Radio, back. keep it locked. All ready. Taylor, and here is this week's gospel news. The powerhouse gospel singer Darwin Hobbs emerged in the mid-90s as one of Nashville's most in-demand session vocalists and arrangers. The youngest of six siblings, the Cincinnati, Ohio native found his voice early, singing every week in church in the choir. From the age of 10, once he'd made the move to Nashville, the sessions began piling up, and before long, he'd appeared on records by C.C. Winans, Michael W. Smith, and a host of other other prominent acts, a connection with industry vet Charlie Peacock led to a deal with EMI Gospel, which released his solo debut album, Mercy, in 1999. His rich, soulful voice earned comparisons to icons like Freddie Jackson, Lou Rawls, and most of all, Luther Vandross. 2000's Vertical made a very strong entry on Billboard's gospel charts. The following year, Hobbs made his debut as an actor with a small role in HBO's original movie, Boycott. His third LP, Broken, arrived in 2003 and proved to be his biggest chart success yet, rising to number three on the Billboard's gospel music chart. Worshipper, the fourth and final album with EMI, arrived in 2005, again reaching the top ten on the gospel charts. A 2007 Greatest Hits anthology preceded his next release, Free, a particularly personal album Hobbs carried on with a new spring in his step releasing the 2010 live album Champion, which reached number six on the gospel charts. Memphis native Chantel Norman Beatty is rooted in the Kojic Church. Her father, Superintendent James Norman, is pastor of St. James Church of God in Christ in Grand Junction, Tennessee. Her mother, First Lady Judy Norman, was born in South Korea. As a self-professed Kojic baby, Chantel was raised listening to the Clark sisters and Dr. Dr. Maddie Moss Clark. Chantel is the sister of late famed gospel singer Shay Norman. As a young woman, Chantel joined Michelle Prather, Kirk Carr, Angela Cage, Orlando Draper and the Associates, and soul singer Stephanie Bolton in a now disbanded gospel group called Forgiven. 
She later went on to become a well-sought-after background vocalist, touring domestically and internationally. Today, Chantel and her husband, the Reverend Andre Beatty, are the first family of the city's Kingdom Culture Center, a non-denominational church located in Texas. Dante Bow is an American musical artist and songwriter based in Atlanta, Georgia. He is currently associated with the Bethel Music Collective, where he mostly works as a songwriter. Dante started his singing journey in 2017 when he released his first ever song, Potter and Friend. The song became a preview of his first album, Son of a Father, which he released a few months later. Dante Bow was born in Rockingham, North Carolina. He is a Christian worshiper, singer, songwriter, and worship pastor. He is a member of the Bethel Music Collective and the Maverick City Music Collective. Earlier this year, he released his second studio album, Circles, which debuted at number seven on Billboard's Top gospel albums charts right here in the U.S. Did you know there are five ways to prevent dementia? The key to treating dementia is prevention, researchers say. The brain changes that result in dementia have been found to begin 20 to 30 years before a diagnosis, making prevention an urgent and worthy goal. And it just so happens that the same things that you can do to reduce your risk for the disease are what you can do to improve your quality of life as you live with the disease. These are five things you can start preventing dementia now and live a better life today. Number one is exercise to stay social. Number three, get some good sleep. Eat well, eat clean. And number five, try new things. Here's this week's top 10 gospel songs. Number 10, Jabari Johnson, Fix Fight. Number nine, Eva McKinney, Just Like God. Eight, Chantel Norman Beatty, Jesus Will Fix It. Seven, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Help. Six, Melvin Crispell III, Wonderful Is Your Name. Five, Brie Barbineau, He's My Rock. Jonathan Reynolds has number four, With Grace. Three, Ja'Kalen Carr, Jehovah Jireh. Number two, Rashawn Mitchell, Lift It Up. And our new number one song for this week comes from Monica Lisa Stevenson featuring Paul Porter, I'm Not Ashamed. Well, that's your top 10 gospel songs and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Bringing you another hour of the hottest tracks from around the globe. From around the globe.
Jesus, I want to have Jesus. a conversation with you right now. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I got to be intimate Jesus. with you. I want to be Jesus. close to you in your presence, Jesus. Lord. Jesus. Sometimes I cry Jesus. at night. Jesus. When my pillow gets soaked oh. in tears. When I get on my knees Jesus, Jesus. I pray to you that I be Jesus. real, real. Jesus. I feel your arms Jesus. around me Jesus, Jesus. I hear your voice speaking oh, to me oh, Jesus. I know you're right there Jesus. I know you're right there Jesus. I know Jesus. you're right
The new sounds of gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. Gospel music. On WKNY Radio, your 24-7 radio station. Alright, y'all, man, it is definitely going down. It's hard to believe. It's almost time for us to get up out of here. We still got uh, we still got a few more minutes, man. We don't have fun tonight, have we? Yeah, you know it. Shout know, out to J D King. Shout out to Mr. King. Say, say, say he don't get <laughs> say he don't get you. <laughs> he don't get you a new name. Yeah, all right. He call you yeah. Uncle. What did he say, Uncle? Uh. Uh. <laughs> uncle John. <laughs> he said Uncle. <"Aunt> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and 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 when they do these uh, old school shout outs to uh, uh, to uh, old school gospel. Shout out, he's gonna certainly call and think I'm old. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I don't really think you old. <laughs> I'm serious about yeah. that. I don't really think yeah. he old now. He's the he oldest man. Old. Shout out to uh Citizen Media. Uh that big big time. They they listening to us right now. We uh got they uh stuff on uh on our TV station, Channel 49 TV. Man, uh you get ready to get your own stuff on there too, man. Let's talk about that. Go ahead. Get some, uh, really promoting uh, BPUA. Citizen Media. That's it. Citizen yeah. Media. Shout out to them. They tune in to yeah. us, man. And uh, you can check them out on Facebook as well. All you got to do is just go to Citizen Media, man. They they do a lot of stuff in the community. They interview. They uh, go out to different functions, different uh, community events and stuff. They doing it real big. Shout out to Citizen Media. Absolutely. Tune in to yeah. us. Got us a whole lot. Okay, go ahead, man. Yeah, so, and that was pretty uh, hosting some uh, auditions and stuff like that. I got a few people in mind, and uh, I'm, you know, be um, channeling in on some people uh, and uh, trying to get them to come in and do some auditions for us. And uh, we'll see how things go. Roll. We we'll see. We we'll see how it go. Yeah. All right. So what's up? What you think about that? Man, I think that's gonna be good, man. I, I'm yeah. excited. You're gonna be busy with the radio show every day, and then yeah. doing stuff with the TV, and man, yeah, my, and, and now my, you may be doing some stuff with JD King. Yeah, yeah, I certainly want to. I'm looking forward to that, most yeah, definitely. You yeah, know, just shout out to, make this awesome area. Man, shout yeah. out to him for calling into the show. Y'all check them out. Shout out, most check definitely. him out Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, he said, Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and Sundays at 3 p.m. He didn't say and where, though, did he? Is it on Spreaker? Yeah, I think it's on, uh, on Spreaker. Yeah, they, that's what got to be what it's put on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shout out to uh, yeah, J.D. Right. King yeah. doing it real big. Y'all yeah. can also check yeah. out his TV show. Uh, just came off. Just went off. Uh, came, comes on every night at 7 o'clock. Uh, it's your season uh, broadcast video. They doing it real big. And then, anything else you want to say? Who else? Oh, yeah. I got to say a big shout out to Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy listening. She said, please play my nephew's song. Girl, we're going to play We're gonna play his song right now. As soon as we get off the radio, we're going to play his song. His song going to be the last one we play on the radio. Ain't that right, man? That's right. You remember they used to say, uh, uh, remember that, uh, uh, I'm going to get my old school, uh, my old school song shout out. I, I got an old school uh, song too. I got an uh, old school I got a gospel song. A couple of, it's, 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 Matter of uh, fact, we're going to play it. We're going to play it. Yeah, what's up? You know what song it is? What is it? There yeah. is no break to love. No. Uh, there is no break to you gotta get that part. There, I got this song. There is no greater love. No greater love. Here you go, right here. Here you go. Y'all check it out. So love the world. Oh, that, that's it. I, I just played a little bit of piece of it, man. That's it. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. It's it's 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm so sorry. Man, do you quick shout out? We kind of running late a little bit. Go ahead, man. Do okay. you quick shout out? Yeah. So uh, my old school is that Andre Crouch, uh, Jesus is Lord, uh, John P. Key, I do worship you, uh, okay. Frank 
it's it's Frank Williams and James Moore, the late great Frank Williams and James Moore. Yes, Lord, or uh, and anything about a Clark sisters. Is, oh, I used to love the Clark is sister. The, is Jesus you, is the answer? All right. I thought it was then, you got uh, the sunshine. Uh, okay, okay, we tell it out there late. Uh, all right, y'all. Remember, y'all, if it is to be, it's up to you sure, to see. make a difference. And we're going to go out with No Braid of Love. We'll be, we'll be here again tomorrow and do it all over again, 8 to 10. No Braid of Love. Old school. Radio. All right.